See how he bends this leg? This foot's up in the air. Now, do you think Eric likes that? Not one second. And, and again, Eric's thinking about, oh, this position really stinks. I hate being here. And he's not thinking about how the heck do I get out? So we're making it very uncomfortable where his thoughts are survival, not escape. Cradle case of Gatami. Case of Gatami. Case of means scarf, you know, and scarf hold. And this is putting a cradle to it. And uh, this is a this is a pretty good pin. I mean, it's a pretty rough pin. It's really good for a guy who's a little good guard fighter. And you want to stick them and hold them for a period of time. And then you can go on to other things too. But this definitely is a painful, painful low sec hold when you hold that. So you want to take the pin? Okay, so. <coughs> We're going to go from guard, and the idea here is we're going to pressure pass our way through. So I want to get control of his head and arms just like I did last time so I can flatten them out and, uh, and elevate my hips for the sit through. Okay? So as soon as we, we get a hold of the head, we pop up onto our hips right here. And see, I'm kind of hugging his hips with my knees. So that's what keeps him from being able to wiggle his hips out and try to remain for arm lock. Now some people will say, oh, that's a real weak position for the top man here. Not necessarily. You're going to see what happens here. We're putting him here, and, and Derek is basically putting Eric up on his shoulders like you just described, and he's controlling his upper body at this point. So that's his main concern, control the upper body at this point. Okay, so, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shift his hip that's on your guys' side in with my knee. Boom. And we're going to sit through as we catch that leg, okay? So as soon as I'm ready, I shift, and I'm gonna catch right there on the inside and drop my, my elbow, sit through, and then scoop. Okay, now we've got our crater. If you wanna be extra mean, you draw your, your elbow up until he's keeping himself in the head. Let's, let's look at that. Watch what he does when he catches. Here's a key thing a lot of guys will mess up on. Look at, you can swim through, that's good too. That's a good basic way to do it. But a really good way to control this and make it a little more painful so it can apply better. Okay, look how he grabbed the gi here. Now, if it was a no-gi situation, you have to swim through because there's nothing to grab, no, no jacket. Or, or if you're doing it in Sambo, it doesn't have pants on. So you'd have to swim through. So how you swim through? Okay. Just swim through that way. As soon as we're, we're going through there, again, lots and lots of pressure on the shoulders and block the hip. So as soon as that hand goes through, we're stepping across and we're sitting through. And that jams the thigh back down. Your hands come together and it's very hard like movement to go anywhere but just kind of stay there. In order to do any sort of triangle, he's, he has to get this over my shoulder and I just keep him pinned. So he sticks him. Now that was when he swam through. Now, let's look at the other side when he had pants on, like in judo or jiu-jitsu. Uh, where he can do that. So watch what he does, how he uses his hand to get past this leg. Okay, hands together. Again, so nice and safe. Gradually the, the hips, okay, with the knees. Again, locking his hips in, locking his shoulders down. And as soon as I'm ready, I'm gonna grab this side and then drive my elbow in and grab the pants, okay? As soon as I get that, I lead the way with that hand and sit through. So that sit through is a big thing. That helps, it helps drive you forward and get you in a good case of Katami type position to hold up longer. Okay, sorry guys. Once I've got that, I scoop back around, come in right behind the knee. Okay. Cradle in the hips, catch the inside, lead with that forearm, sit through, scoop back around, cradle. If it's more of a nogi situation, okay. We're gonna shift that way, and as soon as I dig through, it, the hand goes and the hip goes right behind it. Let's look also, when he does this, do it again. He, when he sits through, he, he wants to make sure Eric is, it, it, it sounds funny, I keep stuttering here, but it sounds funny. You wanna make sure the bottom guy's off balance. That sounds weird in ground fighting. Off balance, what do you mean, he's on the mat. But, by, by taking him off balance and controlling the movement of his body, that's what I mean. Controlling his posture and everything else. So when Derek does this and he sits through, however he does it, and when he sits through, 
if he wants to add a little more pressure to it, he can keep coming up a little more around up in here and keep walking around and really tightening up that crater. Sandy, can you come around here and see how this... And look at when he does this, by keep walking through, see how he bends this leg? This foot's up in the air. Now, do you think Eric likes that? Not one second. And, and again, Eric's thinking about, oh, this position really stinks. I hate being here. And he's not thinking about how the heck do I get out? So we're making it very uncomfortable where his thoughts are survival, not escape. And that's what we want to do here. And we keep walking around, see so we just keep working, and then we keep work the guy. Okay. So that's a really legitimate hold on. You can hold him there as long as you want to. It's, it's, it's very strong hold on. Okay. So we, we see, you see how we see how we did the sit through? So let's work on the two ways to do it. Show them the, the one where you push down and then swim through. So watch, watch the two ways to get past the leg. They're both very good, they both work. Okay. Grab the hands, drive the elbow in. Okay. As soon as we push, the knee slip through. Two rails. Rock. Okay. Same thing. Nice pressure. Cradling the hips. Scoop under, and as soon as we catch, we sit and walk. We just keep walking. It's cradle case, Katami. It's a very effective hold. It's a very uncomfortable hold. And again, concept of osaikomi. Osaikomi means to immobilize for a period of time, to immobilize and control. And um, so if he's in osaikomi, it's a time hold. You're holding for a period of time. Well, make the time you're holding it extremely uncomfortable for him. He doesn't think about escaping, he's just thinking about surviving. Okay? So, critical case, you can talk about it.